listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Thursday, December 21st, 2023. This week, we are talking about the virtue of joy, which we celebrate the third week of Advent. Before, however, we return to that, please join me in praying the family prayer for Advent, which we are learning this month in the Be a Saint Kids Club. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God of love, your Son Jesus is your greatest gift to us. He is the sign of your love. Help us walk in that love during the weeks of Advent as we prepare and wait for his coming. We pray in the name of Jesus, our Savior. Amen. So we've already talked a lot about joy. We talked about the fact that joy is different from other virtues because joy is a fruit or a result of practicing the other virtues. And how even when we are suffering, perhaps like St. Paul, we can still experience joy. Now today we're going to talk about the opposite of joy. Sometimes that's helpful so we know when we're headed in the wrong direction. So joy is a result of practicing love. Love is always focused on the other person, looking at what they need, responding to their needs with generosity. Therefore, the opposite of joy is selfish sadness. Selfish sadness is the opposite of joy. Now, what I want you to think about is that oftentimes we chase the wrong things. Oftentimes we we think that by Being selfish by being angry or powerful, and that in some way, joy or happiness is found through selfishness. Now, I'm going to give you an example. Imagine that it's Christmas morning, you have a big pile of candy. a whole bunch of candy, you go to some sort of family gathering and one of your cousins is there who doesn't have any. You brought your candy with, it gives you, oh, I'm gonna love eating this all, I'm gonna save it, I'm gonna enjoy it. And you see your cousin there who doesn't have any, who asks for some, but you refuse. This is yours. If you give some away, you might not have as much, you might not have as much enjoyment. But as you might have realized, that candy isn't going to give you real joy. And even though it might give you a little bit of happiness as you eat it, it's not real joy. And instead, by choosing to be selfish, by saying no to this person, by perhaps damaging your relationship with this person by being selfish, you end up in the opposite place from joy. You're not really happy. You're alone. You're selfish. And you're sad. Now, the same can be said about anger. Imagine that you and a sibling are in a fight. Let's say they really did do something wrong and it really is their fault. You're mad and you've decided you're not going to forgive them because they did something wrong. And that you feel like if you don't forgive them, like you're powerful and you can't let down, you can't let into them. Well, what happens? What actually you feel like you have a right to be angry. You have a right to not talk to them, to treat them poorly. But in the end, when you refuse to forgive, you're thinking only about yourself and you don't end up at a place of happiness. You end up bitter, alone, and sad. And so it's so interesting that the things we think make us powerful and happy When we focus on ourselves, they actually make us sad. 
So the virtue of joy, the gift of joy is a reminder to let go of what we might think or feel and instead only follow the example of Jesus. The example of Jesus who generously gave all that he was, he even gave his life. And the example of Jesus who offered forgiveness even for the most unforgivable things, for people that betrayed him, for friends that abandoned him, for people who called for his death and watched him die. He forgave all of those things. And we will only experience the joy of heaven if we model our lives after him. And so Sprouts, let's pray, continue to pray around that Advent wreath as we prepare for Christmas, that we can act like Jesus and that we can receive his true joy on Christmas morning. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow, but until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. Hello friends, happy third week of Advent. This is Nancy just popping in to tell you that we are going to be taking a week off of the podcast. The week of Christmas, I will be off celebrating the season with my family. I will see you in the new year, but I would like to wish you a very happy, holy, and joy-filled Christmas season. It means so much to me that you are here listening And I am so excited to start a brand new year with you when I'm back. This podcast is part of the Spoke Street Network. For more great podcasts, visit Spokestreet.com.